Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, Leslie. Good afternoon. How are you? Ask me why I never tidy my desk before we start. Hello, Sue. Good afternoon. How are you? Hi, Margaret. Hello there. Hi, Rizwani. Hello, Flower. Hello, June. How are you, Nutcase? <laughs> I'm okay, Janet. Are you? I'm very warm. I shouldn't moan, but I am very warm. Hello, Maureen. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Tracy Trouble. How are you? <laughs> are you working? Good afternoon, Jane. Hello there. Good afternoon. Hi, Diane. How are you? I'm just rolling my sleeves up. I'm hot. Afternoon and the sun is actually out for us. Yay, Anita. <laughs> it won't last. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> and you're talking to the computer again, Leslie. Yes, I'm talking to a screen. So I look even worse, Leslie. Hello, June. Hello, Christine. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, Sue. <laughs> you're answering me, aren't you, Leslie? So we've got an excuse to talk to the screen. It's happy beetle for me today. My stamp arrived. Yay, Tracy. I'm glad they've arrived. That's fantastic news. Hi, Kay. Hello, Fran. How are you? Good afternoon, everybody. Some parcels just arrived for me as well. Hi, Lynn. Hello there. Why do you never tidy? <laughs> I never tidy, Anne. I just can't. <laughs> I just think, oh, I'll just leave it. I end up tidying it and then I trash it in five minutes. <laughs> I'm terrible, Anne. The floor's clear, but the desk isn't. The floor's, the floor's relatively clear, but my desk's a tip. Hey, Carmen. Having a, day, a day's off in Belgium. Yay, Carmen. A day off for Carmen. Fantastic news. And Sue says she likes the beetle as well, Tracy. We like the beetles. I can't find anything once I've tidied up. Know where everything is otherwise. I haven't even got that excuse, Rizwana, because as you know, when I go live, I'm always asking you lot where everything is. So I haven't even got that excuse. Hello, Lucy. Good afternoon there. I'm just going to have a drink of water. It's, wa it's water, not gin. Because we know that it, it's Janet that has the gin. Hi, Serena. Are you on a day off, Serena? Hello, Shabnees. Good afternoon. How are you, Shabnees? Yes, the, the Gayla asked me to do a card with one of the backgrounds that we did the other day. And Debbie says hello to the Mad Gang. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Good afternoon. Oh, have you been doing anything interesting? I received some nice parcels. Look what arrived at... What time are we on now? Four o'clock. So these arrived 15 minutes ago. Still not got my stamp for the weekend. It's been ordered since before the release. Oh, wonderful. Fingers crossed, Anita, it arrives. Hello, Margaret. I hope you all have had a fabulous day so far. I have, Wendy. It's been lovely. I'm very well, Jane. Are you? Look what arrived. Just as I was... I'd finished doing my demo piece, but look what arrived. Look at them. Look what arrived. I'm so sad. You see, Janet's on red wine. It was gin the other day and Prosecco. But look what arrived. Look at these paintbrushes. Yee! I'm so chuffed they've arrived. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you're well, Shabnies. I'm glad you're well. Yes, I am, thank you. All over to Janet. <laughs> well, she had Prosecco the other day, wine today and gin the other day. I like what Lee did with the beetle as well. Yes, it looks fab, doesn't it? Have you got yours as well, Maureen? I just love them paintbrushes. I just think they're so cool. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> Little paintbrush, which goes perfectly with my stamp set. So, of course, I love them. <laughs> that was Paula's fault. Yes, we like to blame Paula for everything. They are, aren't they, Shally? They're really cute. That's just arrived. Hello, Sue. I got the paintbrushes from Pink Cat. 
charms on eBay, Janet. Pink cat. But they're just so cute. And they've got a little hole so you can dangle things from them as well. Tybishan, are they? And Stephanie says it's a beautiful day here as well. Did you order these as well, Margaret? I love them. They're just so adorable. <laughs> they go with my stamps, look. Look, they go with the stamps. Am I weird? <laughs> I'm just so weird. Look, things like that make me happy. That makes me happy. <laughs> I am slightly strange. You are all welcome. There you go. We can all go Janet's. <laughs> the paintbrush is cute, isn't it? <laughs> it's just so adorable. So I had to, um, Gayla. She's not here because she's she's in America. So it's probably all, it's probably early in the morning. But do you remember the? Do you remember this background we created the other day? That we created with the uh, credit card. Gayla asked if I would create a card with it. So I'm just showing that card so that when Gayla looks at the Facebook Live later, because she always catches them later. So when she looks at it later, this is for you, Gayla. This is the card I created with the background. So I'll give you a close up, Gayla, even though you're not here. Good nabbant. Good nabbant, Angie. Oh, I got the magnifying glasses. You'll see, Rizwana. So that's come out really nicely. So this is for Gayla because she wanted to see a card with the background. So just so you can see that, Gayla, when you watch later. I hope that's okay. So that was for Gayla. I have to do my job, you know. Hello, Tony. Don't bother get don't bother going to Pink Cat Charms. By the time you get there, they'll all sell. <laughs> We're all weird, aren't we? So this is the stamp set I'm using and it's so cute. It's so cute. So this is the card we're creating this afternoon. It's 11 a.m. in Eastern US. Oh, that's not too bad then, Hope. That's not too bad. So look, there's the little magnifying glass, Rizwanu. Can you see the little magnifying glass? Dream in colour. How cute are they? Hello, Chris. Super cute. But these are what I've done with the paintbrushes and we're creating that card. But I created a couple of samples just so you can see the stamp sets used. And they're so adorable. Hi, Chris. So we've used the magnifying glass, but even if you had the paintbrush charms, the paintbrush charm would work well as well. So if you've got either of those, it'd be quite a nice embellishment. Thank you for sharing, Lynn. Yes, I've got a giveaway, I just remembered. So I just wanted to create a couple of cards so you could see what kind of thing you can do with them. So we're creating this one today. And this one is, is quite a simple card, but I'm, I'm quite pleased with the, with the stamps. They're so cute, they're so cute. So I'll bring in the stamps so you can have a see. Look at them. Let me just bring in the stamps. So if I put that there, like so. The stamps are really cute and the little paint tubes as well. They're just brilliant. I love them. They're such a cute thing. They're so, so adorable. And it's got colour outside the lines and dream in colour. Rainy day across Alberta today. Oh no, Laura, not very good. So they're super cute. But this paintbrush actually coordinates with my border paintbrush. So if you wanted to stamp these in the background of your card and just create a background with them, the, this would go with the border one if you've got the border one as well. So it would, it would coordinate beautifully with that. So, and I quite like adding the, the colour to the colour. And a few blocks, look that one's still wet, that's how long ago it was created. The paint's still wet. And Joe's finished her essay, yippee! Joe, that means you can use your stamps now you've done your essay. Yay! I ordered little arrow charms. I guess that means that they're not coming. Whoops, Serena. Yes, I got some arrow ones as well. But she's getting some more deliveries anyway. So it shouldn't be too bad. But I've got a little giveaway. So the giveaway, I'll give away this stamp set, a new stamp set, and I'll give away some charms. I'll give you, I'll send some charms with the stamp set. Look, I've got paint all over me. Oh, thank you, Lucy. So yes, so I'll send you some charms as well. 
So this paintbrush and a little mix of charms I'll send you. So that's the giveaway. So if you'd like to share, that would be much appreciated. So I don't know what charms, I'll just send them, I'll send a mix. I got spoons as well, Maureen. <laughs> I got spoons to go with my teapot. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the, it goes perfectly with the border stamp. This, this one here coordinates beautifully with the border stamp. And if you want to stamp these in the background, so it's a background collage, and then have the border stamp on the top, it's exactly the same replica. Oh, thank you, Rizwana. So we're going to create this card. But I just think that it's, it's the paint tubes. Look at the paint tubes. And on the paint tube, it says create. A little tiny text says create. I'm sure it says create when I did it. Create or art. It says create here and art there in very tiny letters. So I just love them. They're super cute. Super cute. It is, it is strange to talk about stamps like that, but there you go. We all know what I'm like, don't we? So we're going to create our background. Hi, Chris. Hi, Lillian. Your sister's on, Chris. Thank you for sharing, Danielle. Hello, Irma. Hello there. And Chris is replying to Linda and said yes. <laughs> Thank you, Pauline. <laughs> the charms, Pink Cat, have got a lovely selection, Jane. Pink Cat charms on eBay. I can send you the link later. So what I'm going to use, whoops, I'm going to use lemon, magenta and tangerine paints. Have they got an artist palette? Oh, yeah, I got the paintbrush. I got the paintbrush. I didn't know they got a paint palette. Oh, I'm going to have to get that now. <laughs> I'm going to have to get the paint palette. <laughs> Just shared you to my friend. Should should will get sh hopefully she will get hooked. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chris. So what I'm going to do now is just add a tiny amount of colour. I'll create two backgrounds at the same time. So I'm just adding a little bit of the lemon, a little bit of the magenta, not much, and a little bit of the tangerine. So we're not using much at all just going to bray those out and I've got different sets of card here let me get another piece of card because we can't waste any excess thank you Sue I didn't see the palette either Maureen I must be going blind do you know I'm get. I used to be such an addictive shopper and now I miss things so I'm just braying these out just so they're striped and then I'm going to bray it over my card just to give a nice blend and if you just keep braying you get a beautiful blend and that's all I want on there I just want that so I'll just bray off my excess paint and I will get two backgrounds for the price of one so we get two backgrounds for the price of one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the same paints again yummy colors aren't they I know I like the colors so I'm going to add these colors again so we've got the pink, the orange, in a different order this time, and the lemon. And this time I'm going to use an old credit card, turn my card the right way. Those will be the next. <laughs> Did anybody warn it? <laughs> Only just found me, Carolyn. We haven't done much little sporty mugs with paintbrushes in. I didn't see that either with the paintbrushes in. Oh, I need to go and have a look. I thought I was dead good because I found the paintbrushes. I now need to go and find the palette. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my credit card like this and I'm just going to add some scratchy lines across my card just add some scratchy lines so I'm not doing anything too technical I'm just adding some scratchy lines because this is where it'll just ground the image so I'm just adding the scratchy lines replying to Joanne I missed that what did Joanne say fruit salad chew it's oh I used to have them fruit salad chew it's that's yeah 
they were lovely fruit salad chewits. So this is my background, but while that's just on one side, let's create another background. Whoops, hang on. Just want to create another background while I'm here because I've got plenty of paint left. So I'm just scooping the paint up on my um, credit card. I got the I got some gardening tools. I didn't get the wheelbarrow. Oh, your husband would prefer you to use a credit card like this rather than online goodie. <laughs> so I'm just waving the credit card, just waving it, just to give me a nice background. So that gives me one background. And then I've still got all this paint on here so I can create another background. So I'm just waving my credit card just to give me a background, just scooping up any paint I've got left. And as you can see, you can go round creating quite a few backgrounds just with a simple credit card. So I'm just scooping anything I've got so now I've got four backgrounds. It's all right, Sandra, it's not a problem. So I've now got four backgrounds that you can add the paintbrushes to. So you can decide then which one you want to add the paintbrushes to because you've got all these, all these backgrounds. And what I like to do then with these backgrounds is add a little bit of the darker colour, go with the darker colour, scoop it up and then just add some of these scratchy lines to each of the backgrounds. You have to let it dry solid, you know, don't, don't go and try and stamp on it now because it won't do anything. So I do like to just add some scratchy lines. So them are all three backgrounds, but we're creating with this one. I remember when you got four for one old penny, that's nine for a new penny. Is that Chewitz? They're cute, aren't they, the charms? They're so cute. It's so cute. So you've now got four backgrounds just created with a little brayer or a credit card. But even the credit card ones are just as good as the brayer ones because you get a beautiful blend of colour even with the credit card. You can see that you've got yellow, orange and pink and you've got no lines either. It blends beautifully. So you've got no magenta, lemon and tangerine. Thank you, Chris. So you've got no harsh lines so that's brilliant so you've got all them backgrounds so put them on one side to dry just move them out the way and this is the background I'm going to create with so I'm just going to give that a dry just going to give that a dry thanks for answering Chris thank you so I'm just giving this a dry because this area here won't be dry. So I just need to give that a dry. And what you can do to remove some of the excess paint, because you'll have excess paint here, go back to your background and just press it onto the background of the card. And it will just add some of the excess to the background of the card. So then you can just dry just so that you get rid of those big lumps. You will have to ask your charm lady to do frogs and wonky pears. Steph, I was thinking that. I was thinking that, that I wanted pears. That's exactly what I thought. Pears would be brilliant. I just think they add a little element. What I like about the magnifying glasses is the magnifying glasses actually magnify. That's what amazes me. Hello, Gayla. Hopefully you'll watch this from the beginning, Gayla. I made a card with the background that you asked me to make a card with. I'll just bring it in, Gayla. You asked me to make a card with this background. So just so you know, I created that card, Gayla. That was the background you asked if I could create a card with. So that's the one with all the texture. So that, sorry to just interrupt the demo. I just wanted to show Gayla that because she left a message on my last Facebook Live asking if I could create a card with one of the backgrounds. So there's the there's the card, Gayla. So now I've got a lovely background. We're on to wonky pears. Yeah, I want wonky pears. I think that'd be cool. Wonky pear charms. They, ca they can't be straight. They can't be straight. They've got to be wonky. 
You're very welcome, Gaylor. I didn't want you to think that I ignored your message. So I just wanted to make sure that you saw it. So I've now got a die cut circle and I'm just going to add a touch of shading. Let's just move this out of the way. But you can actually see the magnifying glasses. Look at this. Hang on. I'm so taken with these. Look at this, the magnifying glasses. Hang on, let me see if we can do it. They actually magnify, look. They actually magnify. I bet you can't see that on camera, can you? Yes, it's because I wrote in, I wrote in Ca Carol and asked her to talk about wonky pears to see if she'd do it. And she did. <laughs> they actually magnify. I just think that's brilliant. They actually magnify the letter. <laughs> it's the small things that amuse the small minds. And I've got a small mind. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this circle to give me a spotlight. But I don't want to cover up all that background. So just let me make sure. There we go. And I'm using picked raspberry. They work. Exactly, Karen. They work. <laughs> that made me so happy. <laughs> I think they had toads. We want frogs. And, but we want them not being rude. So I'm just going to add a touch of the picked raspberry. Yes, she did say something suggestive about the frog, Lucy. I noticed. You see, we're leading her astray. We're leading her astray. We're just making her a little bit worse than she was in the first place. So I thought that was quite funny. I messaged in and said, you've got to talk about wonky pears. If, you, if you're using the pear, you've got to talk about it. Bless her, she did as well. She kept, she didn't talk about anything else then, she kept talking it. I normally go on YouTube, Magnolia. Oh, replying to Magnolia, sorry. I was thinking, <laughs> you can so misread these messages. It's so easy to misread these messages. So I'm just adding the spotlight. And if I lift that up, you can see I've got a spotlight over my card. And what I'm going to use then is I'm going to use... Those magnifying glasses are great. They're cute, aren't they, Anne? I was amazed they worked, yes. And Anne, I got paintbrushes. I'm boring everybody because I've got paintbrushes. I'm so chuffed. I'm now going to use this stamp set, the Alphabet Splatter. She did, didn't she, Jane? She did. Mind you, she always does. So I'm just going to use this one in the background. So I've got this on my acrylic block. Oh, it's doing that stupid twitching again. Is it going to stop doing it now? So I'm just going to place this back over, like so. And I'm then going to ink this stamp. I'm going to ink it with Vermilion Archival Ink. Vermilion. The paintbrushes are so cute, Anne. They're super cute. I think I've got obsessed with charms now. I don't know what's up with me. It's because they just go with the stamps perfectly. I'm just putting this on one side so I can stamp it a bit better. I'm just putting it on one side. Just add this. Magnolia G. Oh, sleep well. It's Magnolia. Oh, people are replying to Magnolia. That's all right then. I'm no, no twitching here. That's good then. It started twitching on me. Like, what's it doing? So I'm just giving this a good inking because the archival dries pretty quick. So I don't want a perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want some, some of the words just so that they show. So I'm going to add that inside. Let's just move this card, move my paintbrushes. Just add this inside like so so just adding inside just so it gives me some wording in the background and i love the wording linda series ebay pink cat charms thank you holly thank you sometimes it's so easy to miss the comments when they shoot up sometimes they go at 100 mile an hour and just vanish up the screen so there you see we've got the lovely text in the background so I love how you can see all the wording and that's just another element for us so we to put these back over put this back over I'm sure I've got a stack of charms somewhere 
You see, Rizwana, you need to go searching now. You need to go searching. And now I've got my paintbrushes. So adorable. So I'm now going to stamp the paintbrushes. And I've already cut them out, so you don't have to wait for me to cut them out. Just move that out the way. Where's my black ink pad? What are we saying? Making tea and softening my onions. Got carried away watching. Now slicing another onion. <laughs> Have you burnt your onions, June? <laughs> Have you burnt your onions? Oh dear, June's burnt her onions. We don't have that problem in the workshop do we because nobody's cooking onions in the morning so that's not a problem so I'm just inking my little stamp my little paint brushes up just giving them a good inking even though it's only little stamps I still want to give them a good inking shall we have a chat after oh yes you should have a chat so I'm just going to add these like so so I'm just adding my paint brushes and you don't need to press too hard because they're only little stamps. They're so cute. So you don't need to stamp too hard. I more than burnt them. Oops, June. Oops. There you go. So that's it. You've got something to look forward to, Chris. You can have a chat together. I had a chat with some of my friends as well. It was nice just to, to chat live. It was lovely. So there's the paint brushes. They're so cute. They're so cute. Look at them. And I've cut them out here. So I'll put all the paint brushes in my hand just because I want to and I'm, I'm very childish. So I'll put all the paint brushes in my hand. So there's our paint brushes that I've cut out. I've sent you a screenshot of the frog charms. Oh, Maureen, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's just done that twitch again on the screen. It's driving me mad. Oh, but, oh boy, so beautiful. And it's not done. Belgium loves you. Oh, Patrice, thank you. Aren't they cute? Sorry. I do need to grow up a little bit. They're very cute. They're very cute. So what I'm going to do now is add these over the top. But before I do that, I just want to add a little bit more stamping. So I want to use my numbers because I love these numbers. No twitch here. It's obviously me, Chris. Uh, it's, I obviously send the screen into a twitchiness. It, it's my screen. They're just super cute. I love them. Right, so I'm just going to add a touch more stamping here and here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want a little bit of stamping. So I'm just using, what am I using, Tracy? I'm using ripe persimmon. Ripe persimmon. Because the ripe persimmon goes with the paints in the background. That's fab, Tracy. It's the bee's knees when you know you're getting the stamps. <laughs> it's even better when it's in the post, isn't it, Lucy? <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of stamping here. Just here. With these numbers. And I'm just using the Distress Oxide because it coordinate, coordinates perfectly with the background. Because it's got that nice orange colour. And then I want a different number, so we'll do a different number. Am I twitching again now? It's stopped here now. I'm not twitching again now. Unless you're a little bit behind me. I don't know what that twitching is. I know my iPad did it sometimes, but I think it's trying to tell me something. So I'm now going to add another number here, like so. I keep looking at the screen now, paranoid. That's perfect. So I just want those couple of stampings. I'll just lift this up so you can see. So can you see you've got that little bit of stamping in the background here and here, but it's, it just gives that pop of orange because you've got this pink here. So it just gives that pop of orange. What make was the paints? Uh, Pauline, the paints were uh, Dina Wakely. Dina Wakely acrylic paints. So I've used Dina Wakely's today. So if you've got anything in those tones, those tones of colour, you can perhaps get the same effect, especially if they're opaque. If they're opaque, you get a nice, you get a nice blend. I think you do. You get a lovely blend. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to blot 
I'm just going to blot that image just so that I don't smudge it because it's onto a painted surface so I'm just lifting some of the ink there we go and then I'm just going to highlight the spotlight a little bit more I'm just going to highlight the, the, the spotlight a little bit more just to add some doodling around the outside have you all been crafting today? Have you been up to anything today or have you been gardening? I had a little bit of time out in the garden and some plants came today. Oh, thank you, Sue. I love these colours. I know Chris likes these colours. They're a favourite of Chris's. I, like, I sometimes like using colours outside my comfort zone, but sometimes I love using colours that just float my boat. And there's nothing wrong with if you if you enjoy using the colours. If you want to use them all the time, then why not? As long as you're enjoying them. So I'm just adding a little bit of doodling. A little bit of doodling to the circle. Just so it spotlights a little bit more. Uh, oh no, Ran, Anne's running and doing a watercolour painting. Hey, how the heck are you doing that? How'd you run and do a watercolour painting? Oh, Got you. Sorry, not at the same time. <laughs> I asked the question what you were doing and Anne said, I'm running and doing a watercolour painting. I thought Anne was doing them at the same time. I'm dabbling with my second concertina book. Oh, they are so addictive, Chris. To be honest, Chris, if I wasn't doing Facebook Lives, I would be making little concertina books and little books the whole time. I seriously would. They're so addictive. And what I like about books is it means I can use all my stamps in one little area. So I can use bits of sentiments, bits of flowers, bits of everything. And I get a lot of use out of my stamps that way. Thank you everybody that's booked on to my next book workshop. You're all fab. I hope you enjoy it. It's only the, a basic gel press workshop, but I hope you all enjoy it. So that's my little bit of doodling. Hello, Ali. How are you? Alison, my first accordion book. You'll enjoy that, hopefully, Alison. And Pat's been shortening a dress for a granddaughter. Now, that's one I couldn't do. Ordered the stamps from Stampers Grove. Bless you, Alison. Thank you. I've got these pens. I love them as well, Maureen. I love them. I'm looking after my granddaughter, so we've been to the park. Oh, how lovely, Lynn. Tracy, do you have alliums in your garden? Yes, I do. And can you draw them? And can we have a stamp? <laughs> oh, bless you, Kim. I'll do my best. <laughs> yes, the doodling is my stamp. It's I have got a stamp that's like this because some ladies don't like doing the doodling or gentlemen, so that's why I did them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adhere these on the top. Oh, it's all right, Carolyn. There's no rush. It's not for two weeks anyway. But it's, I was just mentioning, it's just a basic one. So if you've done lots of gel printing before, it might not be for you. Because obviously it's a basic gel print. But, we'll you know, it'll still be fun. And I love the book. I love the book. It's turned out really well. I love Alliums as well. Yes, Art from the Heart have stock coming mid-June. What, what, what did you order this morning? Hang on, what have I missed? What did you order this morning? All right, I missed that. I've been making... Oh, no, Serena. Serena's the queen of organising. I've started to collect my supplies. Oh, brilliant. I love... There's just something about books. They're so tactile. I must email you the book gel press works. It's all right, Anne. There's two weeks, yeah? It's not a problem. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. I just wanted to thank those that had booked, though. I know I sent an email, but I just wanted to thank. Just make sure I've got no adhesive. That's it. Just enjoying myself, adhering my paintbrushes. Just watching today. I don't blame you, Carmen. You sound like you've been very busy today, Carmen. Uh, over the last few weeks, Carmen. You sound like you've been busy. Carmen teaches. So she's been doing online teaching. So she's been very busy. So I'm just adding my, never done it, got the plates, but, oh, you'll love it, Carolyn. Nice and simple, nice, simple class. 
nothing complicated but you still get lovely results it doesn't have to be complicated to still get nice results so nothing too complicated and just enjoying the fun really Stampers Grove on a go slow must be all of us ordering why are they on a go slow <laughs> it doesn't matter Lee so what I'm going to do now just make sure that paintbrush sticks down that's it just make sure they stick down and now I just want to add a little bit of paint and I've cut into the uh, pet the, um, paint brushes so I'm just going to add a little bit of paint I am resisting today after going to a funeral yesterday oh resting oh that doesn't sound very pleasant hope you're okay Chris hope you're okay I'm just adding a little bit of paint to my paint brushes now you could paint these with with grey where it's metal on the brush so that it looks like metal if you want that wasn't the look I was going for today so I'm just adding a little bit of the paint to my little paint brushes just so they look a little bit more authentic that's just me I like them to look a bit more authentic So I'm just adding that and what I'm going to do now is decorate the paintbrush the, no, not a paintbrush the pencil I've got these little pencils I've just had happy post from Stampers Grove yay Tracy <laughs> yay Roz that's fantastic so I'm now just going to add this pencil so I want this pencil here which I've colored with the same um, paint colors so I'm just going to add a little bit of a, sen a sentiment there so what I'm thinking is I'm going to use what have we got we're going to use the word colour on this one so we're going to stamp colour onto a piece of tissue so I'm just going to add this to a piece of tissue oh thank you Sue thank you I just look I just enjoy the process I just love creating so I'm just going to pick up one of the words from the stamp set. Just one. I think I've inked two, but that doesn't matter. I think I've got the word colour. I think so. I have, to, I have to look in the light. Just stamping that out. I just thought the pencil was quite cute to add the pencil. There we go. Stamped on my... I'll just lift it up so you can see so inside all the letters inside all the letters is the word color inside all the letters so I'm just going to make sure that that isn't bleeding I've just made two bracelets those very same colors oh perfect I haven't I haven't done any beading I must admit I'm not done beading but I'm just going to tear this now just tear this sentiment out this text actually not a sentiment a text so I'm just going to tear just tear around the edges because it'll look more natural if I just tear around the edges I don't want straight lines so just tear it a little bit more what are we saying <laughs> shortage of pencils so what I'm going to do now is add this to my pencil so it says colour on my pencil. So I'm going to use Distress Collage Medium and I'm just going to dip my finger in and just wipe that over my paintbrush like so. Bring this in so you can see what I'm doing and just add this to my paintbrush like so. Just so it adheres and that will dry clear and then it'll look like the word colour is on the pencil I still have some pencils and I've just finished my nine mile bike ride maybe I should be doing a bike ride that's so energetic Marianne you are good so I've now added this and when it dries it will dry clear like this one on the original card says sketch and you can't see any of the glue it just says sketch and you've got a few of the alphabet 
in the background as well it just says sketch so this one says color but that will dry clear and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that here over the just at the bottom of the paint brushes who's pinching my right persimmon oh typical Jane if you're looking for it then somebody's it, 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 you're never going to find it because that's usually the case if I'm looking for something I can't find it so I'm just going to add my pencil just press it down a little bit just so that you've got the pencil on there it's all right Ginny so as you can see now I've got the pencil and it and it just says color which is perfect for the paint brushes and then we've got the word draw in the background which is perfect for the pencil so they both work quite well just move that down a little bit that's better and that will dry clear it will dry perfectly clear oh thank you Anne I'm sorry I'm late my autistic son had a meltdown because I didn't know our local park in our scheme is clear. oh Jennifer I hope he's okay it's difficult when they don't understand that you know why certain places are closed it's very difficult it's hard to explain so I'm now going to add the sentiment just need to wipe this Marianne are you training for a triathlon somebody's just asked no I bet she's just super fit if I tried to do nine miles you'd have to scrape me up off the floor so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add dream in colour sentiment I'm going to add the dream in colour just add this sentiment like so dream in colour nice and easy to stamp you don't need to press too hard it stamps beautifully and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my pencil crayons just bear with me let me just get my pencil crayons oh thank you Steph it's so difficult because I never know what I'm going to create half the time and then I have to rack my brain so a blue just getting some of my pencil crayons a pink an orange one two three four five and a red so we're just going to add some color oh and where's my pink I just put a pink out didn't I that doesn't look very pink let me just get another pink that doesn't look very pink No, they don't like changes, Gayla, that's the thing. It's very difficult if they don't like changes. That's because my pink's already out, that's why. So I'm just going to colour the sentiment, like so. Just so that it's got some colour on it. So I'm just using my polychromo pencils, just to add colour to the text waiting for mine to arrive so I don't I don't think Marianne's training for any, anything I think she just enjoys the exercise I could be wrong so I've done the orange now I'm going to do the green so we're just adding some colour to the word colour just because it's a bit of fun I was hoping the new colour would be metallic yeah, it's a blue, isn't it? I, 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 I've got it on order anyway, without knowing what the colour is, because I'm good like that. Um, which colour am I used? Red. You know which colour I haven't used? Yellow. I need yellow. So I'm just colouring my words, and I haven't got yellow. I've got to have yellow as well. I just got some of the pencils but I haven't played with them yet they're lovely and creamy Gayla they're lovely and creamy obviously I'm not doing a blend now I'm just adding color I don't want to blend the colors I just want it to be like that so let's just dump them out the way just so that I've got a fun element to the color that's all I wanted that for is VersaFine Claire better than the other VersaFine ink 
I think it is Penny. I think it's Wetty. But that's just a personal opinion. Personal opinion. Opinion. I think the ink pad is slightly wetty. So I like the VersaFine Claire because it gives me more time to work with it. So I prefer it personally. That's just a personal thing. So dream in colour. It's a bit of a chameleon. Yes, cardstock is always important. It doesn't matter what you're using though. A, a, a good quality cardstock is always important. I always like to make, if I haven't got the right cardstock, certain things don't work. So I like to make sure I've got the right cardstock. So I'm just going to add a touch of pink to my sentiment. What time is it? I don't know where the time goes when you're doing a Facebook Live. Yeah, I prefer the VersaFine Claire, definitely. And every don't forget, everybody's different. Everybody likes different things. For me, I've just I've used all many products, and I just use what works for me. That's all. And then obviously I can give you some knowledge if something hasn't worked for me. So I do that as well. So we're now going to add this sentiment here. Flipping Nora, I've been cutting out beetles. <laughs> That just so doesn't sound right. Oh, flipping Nora's, I've been cutting out beetles. That just sounds very strange, don't you think? Dream in cut. Oh, and Gina, thank you for my envelope. I did message you. I don't know whether you received it or not. So kind of you. Dream in colour. Like so. I love that sentiment, dream in colour. Just think it's so nice. And then, where's my little magnifying glass? My little magnifying glass as well. But obviously, we'll have to wait for the glue to dry. So we'll just add some white splatters while we think on. Again, not too many, just a few. One on the, the pencil as well. That's it. Just a few white splatters. And then I'm going to add my magnifying glass. I'm strange and quirky. Exactly, Diane. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Let me get my magnifying glass the right way. You see, I could have a paintbrush on this one. Couldn't I? You see, I like my magnifying... No, it's got to be my magnifying glass this time. Got to get it the right way as well. So don't forget, your glue will dry clear. So we're just going to add the magnifying glass there. Just turn it a little bit. There we go, and gone. Let me just use my scissors. What do you use for the white splatters? I use a Posca paint pen or, just bear with me a sec, just get my magnifying glass in the right place. You know how important that is. Dream in colour. So I either use Posca paint pen or, uh, what's this one called? A Mot Motolo one for all, but I use these most of the time. Posca paint pen, it's just that mine's run out. My mind went to mush, can't spell today. I can never spell most of the days. Tracy, what do you use for the white splatters? Kirsten, Posca paint pen. That's my go-to pen. Posca paint pens, it's just that mine's run out, so I need to get some more, because I use them that frequently. So if we have a look now at the card, that's our card, and if I bring in the other one that I've done, just so that you can see that you've got two different cards using the paint brushes, and when you add it to a black mat, it looks totally different, but I just love those little paint brushes. You're very welcome Sue. Nice simple techniques but also you've got all these backgrounds that were created during the same time. So at the same time you created these backgrounds as well with your paint. So you've got all these backgrounds you could now stamp your paint brushes on because we've got them from all the stamping. But I just think 
it's just an adorable set just a lovely set I just love them just gives you a different idea and what I thought would look nice as well I'm going to sneeze hang on oh. <coughs> excuse me what I thought would also look good if you wanted something quirky if you wanted something quirky what I thought would look good as well do you know Anne Redfern sent me these sardine tins do you know these sardine tins there you go sardines so what you could do is you could create your own shadow box with a sardine tin so you could create your own shadow box with a sardine tin add some background and then add your paintbrushes in the sardine tin so that would be quite a quirky shadow box if you use the sardine tin so I thought that'd be quite a good idea just to do something a little bit different with your stamps I think the rainbow word is perfect it looks lovely doesn't it the rainbow word but if you wanted to do something a little bit quirky then you could create your own little shadow box out of a sardine tin and then you could add the paint brushes inside so they'd work quite well so that's today's card so I'll have to let you know when I'm live next because I just need to do my workshop prep first so I'll have to advertise on Facebook and let you know I'll just let you know which which I'm going to use I'm just thinking if I could add a paintbrush can you tell I want to add a paintbrush to one of my projects I want to add a paintbrush <laughs> Jane says yucky I'm so sorry I lost that it doesn't matter Eugenie you can watch later oh thank you Sylvian thank you sardines <laughs> you, don't <laughs> you don't have to eat the sardines you can just chuck them in the bin or give them the cat and then you've got the sardine tin which you can paint so you could paint it paint it with gesso sand it paint it with gesso and then paint it with your colors add a background to it and then add your paint brushes inside it'd be perfect cat food trays not litter trays <laughs> Oh, Chris, no, I don't want you decorating cat litter trays. <laughs> so, a nice idea for a shadow box to use your stamps with. So, just trying to give you some different ideas with the stamps. So, that's today's demo. And I'll message you on Facebook and let you know when my next live is. Because it depends how much of my prep I get done tomorrow. So, I just need to make sure my workshop prep is finished. So, I haven't got too much to do, but... I just need to make sure that's pre prepped. You're very welcome. Thank you, Yvonne. Nobody like, oh, Jane likes sardines. <laughs> yes, Altoid tins. They're a little bit smaller, aren't they, Anita? This is quite a good size, the sardine one is. There's no sardines on toast. Yummy. <laughs> the smell is just so yucky. You can wash it out. <laughs> Right, so I shall see you all soon. I'll let you know when I'm going live next. Uh, have a good rest of the evening and have a good day tomorrow. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I'll let you know. Thanks for joining me. Uh, and for those that weren't on before, the giveaway. The giveaway is the stamp set and a few charms. So the stamp set and a few charms is the giveaway. I need to tidy my desk. And we do too. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Saturday, Chris. Just a nice, relaxing class. Because it's not quite like the book ones. The book ones, are, uh, we can have marathons. But this is a little bit... Take care, everybody. And thank you very much. Thanks for all joining me. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.